Hello, this is Tara Love Perry. Today I am inspired yet again to talk to you about birth. It's my youngest um, little boy's birthday today. And um, in fact, right now, 12 years ago today, I was literally releasing him out of my body in the most incredibly wonderful, blissful way. And um, so, you know, I'm remembering. I'm, and this memory of giving birth is virtually with me every single day. And I don't mean in the, uh, the birth of giving birth to my child, but in how it was for me when I was giving birth. My experience of giving birth is something that I've taken into my life daily. Now you might be wondering what on earth I'm talking about. Maybe your experience with birth has been something you've seen on the television, that it's incredibly, you know, um, disempowering and debilitating for a woman with her legs in stirrups or up on a table or on the bed and everybody's kind of trying to do the delivering for her. Um, maybe your own birth experience was painful or traumatic for you and that's generally the case. Almost every single person I've ever seen and met has had a traumatic birth experience. Um, for me, when I was giving birth to both my children, my birth experiences were blissful, they were softened, they were just expansive, they were one of the most incredible illuminating experiences of my life. They're right up there, if not the most. And so when I talk about giving birth, it's really about being able to allow great spirit, the all that is, wherever life comes from, whatever inspires us or inspires me, with every breath, whatever brings this inspiration, this breath, to deliver this breath into my body moment by moment is that very thing that delivers my baby when I'm giving birth. I haven't delivered myself here. Something is allowing me to be alive and I'm sitting here being the child, having the experience, being breathed, walking around in this body that kind of automatically knows what to do and how to move. I didn't have to think up or invent any of these things. I just sit here and enjoy it and, and have wonder in it and discover what I can do with my body. Discovering where I come from with my breath, with that great spirit, with that great inspiration of all life. So when I'm giving birth to my child, it was very much like, well, I'm just going to receive more of that inspiration. I'm going to receive more of that great spirit because it's not just my spirit now that I'm receiving. It's also the spirit of another. It was my son's spirit. So I really had to get out of the way to allow that in. And I tell you what, God is blissful. You know, light is blissful. Spirit is blissful. The way that my body received that was orgasmic, was absolutely incredible. And that's what you would hope would happen because making that baby was orgasmic, was blissful, was beautiful. It took really very little effort at all on my part. <laughs> I just was, <laughs> I was just totally relishing and enjoying the experience of it. You know, life is pleasurable when we allow it in. And giving birth is pleasurable when we allow that to happen. Um, so that has been a great lesson, a great teaching for me, that I can allow that to happen every single day. When I'm connected to the source of my inspiration, when I'm connected to my breath, when I'm connected to allowing that life in, all the way in, into this body, filling my body, touching every cell and beyond that, within inside of me, allowing and being filled, fulfilled by that spirit, then my body is in pleasure, I am happy, everything works, my emotions are joyful, you know, my heartbeat is skipping, it's, everything feels wonderful. And to stop allowing that inspiration, to stop allowing that breath, to stop allowing life, means tension, means fear, means resistance, and I become tighter and, and more compressed and that means there's no room for spirit, there's no room for breath, there's no room for me being in my body and in terms of giving birth to a baby there's certainly no room then if there's no room for me inside me then there's no room for anything else to come in through me 
for anybody else's spirit to move in through me. There's no room for inspiration. So, what can I say about that? What needs to happen there? You know, take your own, take your own inspiration from that. Maybe think about your birth experience today. And maybe you can change the pattern, you know. I, when my entrance was into the world, it wasn't all that great, you know. There wasn't, it wasn't perfect. Conditions weren't perfect. And if we look around ourselves today in the world, the way that we can see things is that conditions are not perfect. You know, maybe you haven't got a partner, maybe you haven't got the ideal family, maybe you haven't got the ideal home. But I tell you what, it really doesn't matter. That I mean, it does matter on one level, but on another level it doesn't matter when you bring your attention in and allow these conditions to be perfect. Because, like I said, that body, that breath, is already working perfectly. I'm a child that can either enjoy that or not see that, not enjoy it, not receive what I've been given and therefore be really not having such a nice time, be feeling very needy, very um, desperate, very alone. And you know, I do feel those things too. But when I remember, it's all being taken care of. My breath is being taken care of. My body knows what to do every single moment. I respond instantly to things and joy is my default it's our original setting so just to come back to that place it's it's easy it can be really easy um, so I'm just waffling again really enjoying my day and wishing you the most beautiful remembering of yourself of your birth and your birth in this moment every single moment being the earth being the great eye of all that is of all that you are on this earth, in this body, with every single breath, with every practical, physical, wonderful, bodily heartbeat. Happy birthday. I love you. I'll speak to you tomorrow.